how to track a picture to a video that is how to track an arrow to the wheel of the airplane for example so drag and drop the video onto the timeline of da vinci the picture will be left there for the moment and the tracking will be done on a fusion tab so let's see from where to mute that audio from where to make the tracking let's say from here go to the fusion tab red x click on the clip once again we just position the playhead there to the beginning so the clip itself is this entire thing now let's add the tracker press the shift and space bar on the keyboard shift space and to this window type in tracker and that tracker should be added that's the tracker it has its own rectangle and crosshair there now before tracking let's just limit the beginning and the end where should we track that's the beginning that yellow line but don't drag it directly with your mouse because you might lose the playhead's position use this one for the beginning and that one for the end drag that number and notice it's going there now the end should be dragged with this one move it to the left now let's move the red playhead before it enters into the clouds let's say till there limit it there okay so tracking will be done here and the arrow itself will be visible here it will not be visible there outside now position the playhead somewhere in the middle between those two move that cross here from the center and position it let's say onto the wheel of the airplane in this case and track it forward and backward using that double arrow so from here it will go to the right and from the center to the left so press the double arrow notice it's being tracked to the right and it's being tracked to the left also and it stops at those two points at the yellow lines the white lines are the tracking the tracking is this green on the video itself okay after this let's import our arrow drag and drop it here onto the fusion tab drop it above it we can move everything down by pressing down the scroll wheel of the mouse we can reposition it now connect the picture itself the arrow with this one drag the right side and drop it onto the tracker so the arrow is connected to the tracker let's also rename that media in rename and call it arrow press enter and the arrow is connected to the tracker the arrow itself is not visible here until we click on the tracker and go to operation and set it to match move after match move the arrow is visible now don't reposition the arrow itself from here because you will reposition the tracking so undo it even if you go onto the arrow you cannot reposition it repositioning is done with this one transform drag that transform and insert it between the arrow and the tracker simply drop it onto there so the transform is between them now with the transform selected now finally you can reposition the arrow from the center move it let's say there you can move it horizontally with that arrow and vertically with that red arrow and you can rotate it using the circle rotate it there and reposition it there now let's play around here drag with the mouse notice the arrow here is nicely tracked to the wheel of the airplane that is fine but if you go out it's not tracked anymore and the arrow is still visible the same thing in the center is tracked and we go outside is not tracked okay so we need to hide it before the tracking and hide it after the tracking also so let's position the red line the playhead to the beginning that is the 168th frame type in here 168 and after i press enter the red line will jump there to the beginning so press enter it went there now remember the size of this arrow make sure you're on the transform node by the way remember the size of the arrow by going here to size and clicking on that keyframe okay now go one frame back to the 167th frame by pressing the left arrow on the keyboard we went back one frame 
and now the size should be reduced to zero simply double click inside the arrow and type in zero and press enter and since the size is zero the arrow is not visible so before the tracking the arrow is not visible and when it enters there the arrow is visible and is tracked I do the same thing with the end, with this one, 241 frame, let's go there, 241, press enter, the red playhead went to the end, remember the size of the arrow by clicking on the keyframe, go one frame to the right in this case, from here to the right, that is the 242, press the right arrow on the keyboard, and there to the size type in 0, and the arrow is hidden. So the arrow is hidden in the beginning and it's hidden at the end and it's tracked in the middle. Nothing is visible. It appears and it is being tracked. And it is hidden and it's not tracked. The same thing here but we don't see that because there's nothing above it. But somewhere here the arrow is shown. And if you go even to the left it disappears. So preview it. Nothing is shown, it is shown and tracked and it is hidden. So that's how to track a picture to a video inside DaVinci Resolve. The only thing that tells us that there is something happening with this clip is these stars. The stars are here at the fusion. There are stars there also. So there is something fusion related to this clip. Well, that is that tracked arrow. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.